This is judgment day for the IPL with the Supreme Court set to hear the IPL fixing case. The BCCI tried to distance Gurunath Mayapan from the Chennai Super Kings but with the matter set to be given a full hearing, the fate of Gurunath and CSK lies in the hands of the court. All eyes will be on the country's highest court as the Supreme Court is set to hear the IPL fixing scandal. With the case needing adequate hearing, the Supreme Court posted the matter for Tuesday. But ahead of the crucial Apex Court hearing on March 7th, the BCCI staged a move perhaps to shield Gurunath Mayapan, the man at the centre of the storm, filing in its counter to the Mudgal Committee report into the scandal. From being team principal to being termed just an enthusiast, the BCCI accepting Gurunath as a team official. But not an owner, hence avoiding scrapping of the Chennai Super Kings under Rule 11.3. The BCCI also proposing that action against Gurunath and CSK will be taken by the board after an internal probe. So the BCCI says, since you have mentioned Gurunath as a team official, hmm. other clause of the IPL operational rules come into force and not 11.3. Well, that will be decided by the Supreme Court. Maybe the, the, they may be right, I don't know. The BCCI pointing out divergent views between the reports of Justice Mudgal and Nilay Datta. The Mudgal report says that Rule 11.3 is breached and the Apex Court must decide punishment. But Nilay Datta says that action should be taken by the BCCI as per its own rules. Justice Mudgal's report said Gurunath qualified as a team official, bringing Rule 11.3 into effect. But Nilay Datta's version states that Gurunath wasn't proved to be the owner, hence the clause does not apply. The BCCI choosing a clear strategy, trying to minimize the damage, raising questions that the board is trying to protect the powerful. But India's highest court will have the final say in the matter. Sports Bureau, Times Now.